Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new Clash of Clans episode, and we've just maxed out our entire gold storages, there is over 10 million loot sitting inside of them four bad boys, and we are also about to spend them inside of this episode. Now there are so many amazing announcements to make, we've just surpassed 4,500 trophies for the first time ever in our COC career, our new all-time best, 4,503 trophies, and we are almost about to surpass 1 billion gold. So our gold grab is currently 999,817,000. I've been playing this game, COC, almost two years, so it has taken a lot of time, a lot of hours, a lot of blood, a lot of sweat to get this much gold and we are about to surpass 1 billion. So as I said, we're gonna spend some gold, we're gonna farm some gold, and I also, I just forgot to mention this, we have also just done this as well, check it out. Yesterday, I posted an episode showing you the biggest Dark Elixir raid I have ever had. Well, you will not believe it, but we just beat it. Check that out, guys. Check out the one right at the top there. 7,550 Dark Elixir inside of a single raid, plus a 100% loot bonus. That means we took almost 10,000 Dark Elixir from a single raid, from a single raid. That is insane. It's mind-blowing. So, of course, we do have one more live attack to do before we do reach 1 billion gold, and we will be doing that in a few moments' time just before we do. I think it's time that we spend some of the loot that we've been able to farm. What I want you guys to do, go down below into that comment section and let me know what is your gold grab. Does anyone have a bigger gold grab than me? Let me know, guys. Remember, don't lie. Don't lie. Be honest. If you've got a bigger gold grab than me, then you are, you're, you're a better player than me. No, I'm only joking. If you've got a bigger gold grab than me, then you've obviously played quite a lot just like me. So 10 million gold. What can we spend it on? Well, we have the opportunity to spend it on some of these Archer Towers. We've done three of them, which means we have five more to upgrade. We can also upgrade another one of those level eight to level nine mortars. You know what? We're going to do that, guys. Nine million gold. See you later. There it goes. And now we've only got a million. But that does mean we can now fill up our gold storages again. And of course, that means we are about to go in for our final live attack. This has got to be the end of the series, guys. The road to 1 billion gold is about to end inside of the next live attack. If we find over 200,000 gold inside of the raid, not including the loot bonus, then it's game over. We will have mission accomplished. So here we go guys, we're about to get ourselves into a live attack, hero spells, and of course the troops are ready. Now if you've made it this far into the episode and haven't yet told me what your gold grab is, do not forget to let me know down below, I'm going to sift through them. Also, do me a favour, let me know what town hall level you are, put your town hall level and put your gold grab. I want to see, you know, how much the town hall 7s have, the town hall 8s, the town hall 9s, town hall 10s, and of course my town hall, the town hall level 11s. Do not forget we are surpassing, or we just have surpassed, 4,500 trophies on our way to Legends League for the first time ever. 5,000 trophies. We need to skip that one because there isn't enough gold inside of it. If you do want to see me hit the Legends League, then be sure to leave a like down below. 5,000 trophies. Let's smash 5,000 likes, guys. 1 billion gold. 4,500 trophies. We just spent 10 million gold. This is a very big episode. So we're going to search for an opponent. We will be back in a few moments time once we have found a decent base. Now remember, we need a total of just over 185,000 gold in order to uh, to get that 1 billion gold grab inside of this one live attack. So we're going to find a base with at least hopefully 200,000 gold. We're going to take it on. We're going to try our best and hopefully we will be setting a new personal best for trophies and of course for the biggest gold grab we've ever had. So here we go, after minutes of searching, we've just landed on this Town Hall 11 base, and my lord, check out the loot, guys. 580,000 Golden Elixir, and over 4,700 Dark Elixir. We are going to try and penetrate this base, completely destroy it, take as much of the loot as possible, and of course, walk away with a 1 billion gold grab. So it's all or nothing, guys. Let's see if we can get this raid started. So we're actually going to attack... I'm going to attack from this side right here, right near the Eagle Artillery. Hopefully, we can actually two-star the base, get a great loot bonus on it as well. We're looking for at least 70% when attacking a base like this. So here we go. Giant's going to go in first. We are going to send in the Wall Breakers. Sorry, the, uh, the Bowlers straight after. Grand Warden, Queen, King. Send in those Wizards and then, of course, straight in with the Healers. Here we go. Rage Spell is going to go down. We're going to drop the Free Spell just ahead of the Rage Spell. And we've also got the, uh, the Free Spell ready to rumble. So we're going to put 
up the Grand Warden's ability right now. There it is. We're going to drop a free spell on the single target Inferno Tower. Rage up the King. He just got out of range there of the Inferno Tower. That was beautiful. Check it out, guys. The entire center of this base has been demolished in absolute seconds. So many troops have stormed into the core. And I think we've already done it. I think we've already surpassed a 1 billion gold grab. But, of course, we're going to get as much of the loot as possible. The Queen is down there at the bottom. There are still loads of troops ready to destroy the rest of this base. Now, there are two, two, uh, two gold storages left up and running. And we want to try and get both of them. So we've still got the king on completely maxed out health. There isn't any defenses nearby that can do a lot of damage. You know what? We could be about to three star this base. Please say we can three star this base. It would be an awesome end to the 1 billion gold grab series if we are able to three star this town hall 11 base. Bear in mind, I think it's very close to a maxed out base. So this is going to be one awesome three star if we get it. Now we can actually pick some of these buildings off there with the archers. So it looks like we are going to get this, guys. Check it out. The king and the heel is still up and alive. We've still got the queen's ability to use up to 76% so far. A couple of bowlers still alive. They're going to be able to provide, you know, some backup support for the heroes. The healers, I think there are two of them. No, there's three of them. We've done it. We've done it. It's going to be a three-star. Our three-star live attack, which is going to secure us a one billion gold grab. We're going to get seven trophies and, of course, an enormous loot bonus. So the wizard tower was doing quite a bit of damage to my king. He's just about to go down, but he stays up. What a beautiful king. Now the healers are going to take him back up in HP, which is awesome. There is only one defense left in the entire base. Unfortunately, the defender isn't watching, but we're going to pop the queen's ability 95%. There we go, guys. This is why the bowlers are the most amazing troop inside of this game. They're so damn overpowered, but I really, really love them. Check it out. Zero loot left inside of the base. 99%. There goes the 100, guys. And, of course, a 1 billion gold grab. 581,000 golden elixir. So much dark elixir. And check out that loot bonus. So here we go, we've done it. Let's just go into the actual gold grab and see what it says. 1,399,562 gold grab. Check out the elixir, guys. We are closing in on a billion. 977 million elixir. The dark elixir, I think, is right down the bottom. Where is the dark elixir wrap? Still, where is the dark elixir? Dark elixir. Here we go. Still 1 million dark elixir. 5.645 million. So, of course, what we do need to do is change this base. We are going to set this base back to active. So, this is our standard trophy pushing base, which we have been using. I need to change this up because it really isn't doing too great. So, what we're going to do quickly before we do end the episode, I wanted to show you this raid right here. The massive 7,550 Dark Elixir loot raid. I have never seen this much Dark Elixir inside of a base. And we grab every single penny of it. We didn't leave a single Dark Elixir inside of the raid. Once again, we are using... Using the exact same army which you just saw bowlers healers giants and of course wizards so if you've made it all the way to the end of the episode guys please do not forget to leave a like and of course subscribe to this channel right now to stay up to date with every single one of my videos do not forget we are one of the last remaining coc youtubers and we will be covering every single one of the brand new updates we pump out two videos on this game every single day no matter what so please subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the channel information all of the videos and of course the updates that will be coming out in the near to distant future so check it out 7550 dark elixir about to be mine also don't forget to let me know what your gold grab is if you haven't done that already we are now on our way to a 2 billion gold grab which i think is the maximum you can get inside of the game if you have a 2 billion gold grab i believe you will have a 100% maxed out town to 11. I think that's correct. So check it out. All of the Dark Elixir has already been taken and the raid isn't even halfway through. That is how quickly and how assured I was to make sure I grabbed every single penny of that Dark Elixir. The Queen's ability still hasn't been used. She is going to grab some more of the loot down from the bottom. But the bowlers doing insane damage to the base once again, tearing the walls into pieces. I mean, these bowlers are just so damn awesome inside of this game. Obviously... Loads of people really dislike them, but I really love them. I mean, I absolutely love them. I used to hate them when they first came out, but they do such an amazing job, and they do make the game so much more fun. So we're just going to go quad speed here to finish off the raid. You can see the queen is stuck on that wall there. She's just going to get us some more percentage points to make sure we can get a 100% loot bonus. So the overall damage has surpassed 70%. Which, of course, means a 100% loot bonus is secured. 7,550 Dark Elixir in the bag. 
and that is the new biggest Dark Elixir raid I have ever made. So inside of this episode, we spent 10 million gold, we farmed up 1 billion gold, we also found the biggest Dark Elixir loot raid we have ever had, and we have also just smashed a brand new all-time best uh, trophy record, I was losing my words there guys, 4,510, so I would say that this has been one of the most awesome videos we've done for quite some time on the channel. Now, do not forget to stay tuned. The next video will be a troll base. It's going to be a very big one. Leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. I will see you very shortly in a few hours time for another episode, guys. Have a great day. Love you all. Peace out.